All right, guys, so in the last video, I briefly mentioned about importing a specific font from a third party such as Defont.com. So I might as well go ahead and create a video on it. So let's go ahead and open up a browser and just open up a new tab. Just Google Defont.com or type it right in. I'll just Google it. So why didn't just Google it? I'll just type in Defont, not.com. Right here, defont.com, duh font, like the Hawaiian pigeon, duh font. Okay, so click on that. And here we go. I've been a fan of this website for years. I've used it for years. They update new fonts all the time. They get the copyrights to see stuff that you've seen on maybe sports teams or companies, surf companies. I've seen, um, I'm a San Diego Chargers fan. I've seen the San Diego Chargers fan finally go live. They're not trademarked. If they're here, you cannot get sued and they're completely available. You're not going to cause any damage. So let's say, okay, so right here they've got some pretty cool fonts. We'll say, um, I mean, you can just scroll through different types, groovy, square, medieval. Yeah, of course, it's like Old English. All cool stuff. Absolutely great for Flash, Photoshop, graphic design. What's this down here? I thorn it. Hmm. I will go back to the home page. And okay, so they changed up the fonts already. So they cycle through the fonts that they have on their home page. So I'll go ahead and click download over here on the right hand side. Say that I really want to use this font for a design. I got a client that really loves this design or this font, and we need to print some promos or some graphic design t shirts or whatever it may be. Let's just download it. So go ahead, go ahead and click download over here. It's going to download, look to your desktop, and Dolly Script, there it is. Now let's go ahead and look, track down the TTF extension. So over here, it's just kind of got an example. Over here, there's another ex example. The TXT is probably a disclaimer, some in instructions. In all honesty, I never look at that. I need the TTF. So let's click on that. And right over here, it's going to show us the font, what it looks like with caps locked as well as lowercase letters. Let's click install font. So the hardest part is usually remembering what it's called. So it's called Dolly Script. So let's go ahead and just to make sure, let's go ahead and close Flash. Just I'm going to go down here and click quit. Give it a second. And I'm going to open it back up. ActionScript 3.0. And let's go over here and click on our text tool. Okay, so let's go up to our font family. Let's go ahead and try to track down our Dolly script. And here it is, Dolly script personal use. All right, so we learned how to download a font from defont.com and install it correctly into your Flash. Let's go ahead and just for, Let's go ahead and create a bigger size font to get a better visual for this example. We'll call it 75 say, excellent work. So there it is, Dolly Script, just like that, guys. So congratulations, you learned how to download a font from defont.com. Keep in mind, I'm on a Mac. I don't have a PC. If you're watching this and you're on a PC, I'm sorry. I don't have a PC, but I'm sure it's pretty self-explanatory. And uh, it's cross-platform. You can download it for a Linux, PC, a Mac. And uh, yeah, looks good. All right, guys, good luck with this. Hopefully this made sense. Let's jump back into some Flash tutorials.